us look into geometric sequence so just like arithmetic we have common difference right now we have common ratio because we need to identify that the ratio of t2 t1 over t1 t3 over t2 and applicable for any tn over tn minus 1 it's always r the common one common value our n term with the consistent formula of a r to power of n minus 1 as well as this is the formula for our first n summation for r less than 1 and then this one is for r greater than 1 okay so how to prove that the sn is using that kind of formula so what happened first is we should know that our sn is actually a plus a r plus a r square a r cube and so on up until a n minus one and then times them with r should be that way and then one minus with the first equation minus with the second equation what will happen is everything will be omitting out except for a minus a r to the power of n so bringing this one to the bottom that should be a 1 minus r n over 1 minus r then the other formula is being proved by the second equation minus the first equation eh? so that would be applicable also all right what about the sum to infinity so sum to infinity takes only r in between negative 1 and 1 which rules of r less than 1 means r should be in between negative 1 as well as 1 cannot be equal eh? because if it's equal if it's 1 here so it could be a over zero so cannot uh? that one is no solution okay so let's look into this example find the general term for the geometric sequence so let's say if you have 9 37 81 so this is our first term which is 9 our second term is 27 and our third term is 81 so we need to find the general term so the general term must came from which is the common traits of this tree so we can find that our r is 27 over 9 which is 3 so our tn should be a r n minus 1 which our a now is 9 our r is 3 and n minus 1 is unknown okay so simplify this further that should be 9 3 of n times by 3 negative 1 to the power of negative 1 3 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 3 so making it 9 over with 3 which is 3 so becoming 3 to the power of n but then this got two common base there so therefore it will become 3 n plus 1 okay and then on the other hand if you have 1 over 3 of power 1 1 over 3 of power 2 and 1 over 3 of power 3 equals to our t1 is 1 over 3 our t2 is 1 over 3 square our t3 is 1 over 3 cube so it's quite obvious here that our r is 1 over 3 increment by timing one third here and then we should know that our a is one over three there so consequently our tn should be one over three which is our a times by one over three power of n minus one okay but we have a common base there so they can be accumulated together so one over three of 1 plus with n minus with 1 okay so omitted out 1 da. that should be 1 over 3 power of n only and hence determine the tan term so we need our tan term for both of the questions this one could find the t tan tan is 3 to power of 11 which giving the answer of 177,000 147 
Meanwhile, our T tan here is 1 over 3 to power of 10. Or we can actually expand that being 1 over with 59049. So what about this one? We have to show that the sequence is a geometric progression. So in general, we need to show that Tn over with Tn minus 1 is basically equals to Tn plus 1 over with Tn. Then you can say that all the next terms are involved in this geometric progression. Okay, and then find the value of n where Tn is equal to 256 over 6561. Okay, so let's look into its solution. So here our n term is Tn which equals to 2 over 3 power of n minus 1. Okay, so first we have to consider Tn over Tn minus 1. So therefore, just substitute Tn, just rewrite that again. But then at the bottom, you would have n minus 1 inside this n here. So therefore, minus 1 again. To so simplify that 1, you would have n minus 1 minus with n minus 2. So altogether, that one is 1. So therefore, you have 2 over 3 only becoming dr. Okay, the second one. We also have to let Tn plus 1 also. So Tn plus 1 is 2 over 3 and plus 1 inside the n. But then you got 1 there, minus 1 again. And then Tn is Tn would be 2 over 3 and minus 1. Okay, subsequently it's actually n plus 1. It's got minus 1 actually. Here also got minus 1. But eventually, that one would be cancelled off together. N minus. So, remained by 2 over 3 to the power of 1 only. So, at the same time, that one is your R. So, in conclusion, since the common ratio, which is R equal to 2 over 3, is the same for both. So, this sequence is a geometric progression. Okay. And next, we need to determine... N, where our Tn is 256 over 6521. So we need to equate them. Just compare the Tn with the desirable values there. By finding the common base here, similar base. So we could compare that. 256 over 6561 is actually 2 over 3 to the power of 8. So therefore, just compare n minus 1 equals to 8. So our n equals to 9. So t9 is 256 over 6561. Okay. Regarding this uh, sum to infinity. Okay. So let's look into what will happen here. This is a sum to infinity. We need to. So let's say if you have 4 minus 8 over 3 plus 16 over 9 plus so on. So for this one. A. So 4 minus 8 over 16 over 9 plus dot 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 dot. Okay, so you know that as infinity, the formula is A over 1 minus R. So therefore, our A now is 4. But we don't know yet our R. So our R is 8 over 3 over with 4, which is 8 over 12. Okay, so look carefully here, people. This is a fraction divided by a singular number. So, just as a quick operation, you can imagine that 8 over 3 as a fraction divided by singular, they can actually multiply this straight away. Okay, if a fraction divides by a singular number. So, that should be 8 over 12. Because if you have 8 over 3, divides by 4, it would be times with 1 over 4 eventually, the basic operation. So simplify this, you would have 2 over 3 anyway. And then just substitute into your formula. So this is 4 over 1 minus 2 over 3. So therefore, it is 4 over 1 over 3. Hence, it should be 12. Okay, so how did I got 12? Meanwhile, if you have a singular number divided by a fraction, that should be 4 divided by 1 over 3. So therefore, 4 times by 3 over 1. 
you need to reciprocate them, right? Okay, so that should be 12. Meanwhile, for B, I need you to do this by yourself. Mm -hmm.